One of my personal favorite cactus is Mammillaria gracilis fragilis, also known as thimble cactus. And yes, the name is just kind of fun to say, but one of the reasons why I love it is it actually does pretty well indoors. And as you can also see, it grows a lot of little babies all along the top and it's quite prolific. So it's one that's really easy to propagate. You can just take one of the little babies and remove it from the mother plant and plant it somewhere new. And as you consistently give it water, it will continue to grow and eventually put off new babies or offsets of its own. It's one that doesn't need a lot of water, so you can water it fairly infrequently. I still recommend following the soak and dry method, and if you're not familiar with what that is, you can watch the, our video all about it. But you'll wanna soak the soil completely and let it dry out completely, plus give it a few more days before you water it again. Especially if you're growing it indoors, you'll want to really cut back on the watering. It does store quite a bit in the little mini barrels, but if you water it too much, it can definitely lead to rot both of the plant and of the roots. So do be careful that way. Another reason why you might want to cut back on watering indoors is just to slow the growth. So this is considered a full sun succulent or cactus, and it does quite well in full sun all the way into partial shade. So if you're growing outdoors, I'd recommend at least six to eight hours of sunlight during the day. And if you decide to bring it inside, just make sure that you supplement with a grow light or put it by the brightest window in your home to prevent it from getting tall rather than round. It does form nice rounded little barrels and if you wanna maintain that, it's going to need quite a bit of light. But if you reduce the watering, it's gonna grow slower and you won't notice the stretching out as much. And it does make a really good kind of set it and forget it cactus that you don't have to take care of very often. This cactus is rated for a zone 10, which means it can tolerate temperatures down to about 30 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's not one that you'll wanna leave out during uh, multiple nights of frost or freezing. You either wanna bring it in, or if you know that it's just gonna be a week or so of freezing, you can go ahead and cover it with a frost cloth. It's not toxic to humans or animals so far as we know, but it is a little bit dangerous as it does have spines just like most cactus do. But I have found that it's pretty easy to handle with or without gloves, but if you want to avoid getting these white little spines in your fingers, gloves are definitely a good way to go. This is a cactus that I really like pairing with other succulents. Right here you can see it with Corpuscularia limani, um, and it does quite well because they both do okay with very limited water. And then here we have it with some different aloes, um, Acetum rubertinctum, and Portulacaria afra. So have fun with it, kind of play around. It's nice that it does stay fairly low growing. So each individual little barrel will maybe grow to be about two inches in size at most, but it can get to be about four or five inches tall just as all of the little barrels stack up on each other. I would love to know what you're doing with this cactus. If it's one that you're growing in your garden, leave a comment below and share with me. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and share it with all of your succulent loving friends, and I will see you next time.